Welcome back to City Scene. I'm showing off my mad huge ping pong ball skills at the Aquatics and Fitness Center with John Barrow. John, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. I'm going to try, here, I'm going to pass this off to you so I can shake your hand. So get to hit, paddle in your left hand. All Ready? right. Go. How you doing? Why wow, shake your hand? This is awesome because this way I can shake your hand and you drop the ball <laughs> yes. instead of me because that ball was going nowhere. That's not a ping pong ball though, is it? No, it is not. It's a polymer ball, very similar to a wiffle ball. But it's, it's green, so it looks like a big pickle. Exactly. Ball. Exactly. We're here to talk about pickleball. You like that little smooth segue I did that there? That was very smooth. That was professionalism. Yes. That, was, that was years of broadcasting experience, which I've just now blown by telling you it was all a great segue, yeah. right? Pickleball, what the heck is pickleball? Okay, well pickleball is a sport that combines elements of badminton and tennis. Very similar to a, a ping, ping pong ping paddle. Pong, yes. It's wooden, but it doesn't have the little grippy things on it. It does not. It does not. And it's played either singles or doubles, depending on how many people you got to play. Mm -hmm. And here at the Aquatic Center, we have uh, three courts available for people to play on. So you play here inside the gym. We it's, do. We kicked everyone out so we could have the gym to ourselves. Absolutely, right now. yes. But uh, you, you set up like a net, kind of like in tennis? Yes, it's or? very similar to tennis. It's uh, 36 inches tall. Oh, okay, so it's a low net. It's not a high net no, it's like not. badminton. No, exactly not. But it is played on a court very similar to badminton. Okay. I understand this is one of the fastest growing sports in the nation. It is the fastest growing sport in the nation for people 50 and over, and it is one of the fastest growing sports for young people also. I, you know, the guy who was helping me out for a while is a trainer, Mike. Yes. He loves pickleball. He's like 21, 22, loves yes. it. All our exercise science interns that come here love playing pickleball and they always pick it up very quickly. So how did we come about getting pickleball here at the Aquatics and Fitness Center? It was a sport I was uh, exposed to down in Wilmington. Mm -hmm. And when I came here with the city of Greenville, I thought it would be a great sport for this facility. And how's it worked out so far? It's worked out tremendously. We have a good community of people that come and play. Mm -hmm. Between 15 to 20 people come out each day that we offer it. We offer it Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from 9.30 to 11.30 so, a.m. Normally people can come in here and play pickup basketball and stuff, but those times, Monday, yes. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, from what time to what time? 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. You kick everyone else out and you play pickleball. Absolutely, yes. All right, so do you have to have any pickleball experience to come play? You do not. Uh, on Mondays from 9.30 to uh, 10.30, we have uh, pickleball for beginners, where we'll have a staff member here come out here and show you how to play. We'll show you all the rules and regulations, and we'll kind of teach you some of the techniques also. That's pretty cool. Yes, and, uh, and we offer all the equipment. We have all the nets, paddles, and balls. I was just going to ask if I had to go out and buy my own. You do not, paddle. but a lot of people do once they start playing. Yeah, does, does it make you cooler to have your own? Oh, absolutely. You can get your own style of racket and everything, and personalize and everything. Color coordinate your outfit. Oh, absolutely, yes. <laughs> can you get? Do you guys have like set teams, or, or do you just kind of pick just, up? No, um, they just kind of pick up as they come, but we've had several members play in the state games and local tournaments, so they do try to play together to get ready for those tournaments. Have you thought about having tournaments here? We've had several tournaments here. We just had a one this past Monday. We had a round robin tournament, and we've had several uh, double elimination tournaments here also. All right, so give me some tips here. Uh, how? What's the best thing to do when I'm playing pickleball? Besides well, not hit you in the head. Yes, with, like, thank you. Or the ball. Well, I got quick reaction, so I'm good. <laughs> well. Some of the tips are is always serve underhanded when okay. you serve, unlike tennis where you serve overhanded. So no smashing. No smashing. And okay. the good thing is always just when you hold your racket, kind of keep it parallel to the ground. So, you know, you can always uh, return it back to the other side. Okay. Any uh, pickleball elbow injuries? Like no, tennis no. Elbow, it's a pickleball very low elbow? impact sport, well, that's which good. is one reason a lot of seniors like to play it. Okay. Um, how many times can you juggle the ball just hitting it up in the air? Uh, I've caught it at two million times. Okay. Let's start, start now. Start see now. How, see how many you can do. Okay. Ready? One, two. Okay. So, what phone number can people call for more information? Oh, you got to keep oh, going. Oh. I was I'm, like, what? I want to make three? sure they hear the phone number. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yes. What phone number, number can people call for more information about pickleball here? 329 4041. And you can always uh, come on out uh, to the Aquatics and Fitness Center, which is on Staten Road, out near uh, Overton's in the Industrial Park. We're right next to the Coca-Cola and e what used to be ECVC. What's over here now? What's in the next building? Do you know? It's a Head Start. Head Start. Okay. So we're on Staten Road. You can come on here yes. anytime, right? Right. John, thank you much. Thank you so much, Steve.